Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. That onto there. And I will just put... That one onto there. Probably just need to do it the other way around. Uh, that, I think, is all I need to do so that I can actually assign these trains to the correct lines. We need to put, we need to give them some names first. We have Glenn Fiddick, Lil Scut, Michael Burke, and True God Howard. So I now need to get you out onto the line. So I've got two of you who are going to go on line 13. That will be Glenn Fiddick and Lil Scut are going to go on line 13, which is that color right there. So I will see if I can assign you both to line 13. Looks like it. And then Michael Burke and True God Howard, they are going to be assigned to line 14. So they will need to be that color like that. And then I go like this and I go line 14 like that. Oh, wow. Will you look at that train? That looks fantastic. What about this next one? This one's coming out as well. Michael Burke. Oh, that looks gorgeous. That looks absolutely gorgeous. And then... Out comes True God Howard over here, looking amazing. Looking absolutely amazing. Right, he's coming out that way. And you're running in on that line. You are coming in over here. And you've stopped. Right, I'm going to pause this a second. So why have you stopped over there? You are out on that line. What I could do now, because I've got these out on the correct lines now, is I could remove any crossover points. He stopped there. It might just be that I need to put the correct signals in to make this work. It may be signal requirements that are doing this. So you've stopped at that signal right there. I've got no signal coming oh wait a minute oh i do i've got a signal that's coming up that way stopping him from going any further the signal is coming back this way seem to be anything more but he's on the right side over there i'm not gonna do it i'm, I'm gonna get rid of these i'll get rid of that one and i'll get rid of that one as well Decided he doesn't like that, but that's complete and total bunkum as far as I'm concerned. You, however, over this side, I've got this train here is running down that track there, which is the wrong track. I don't want... Well, actually, it's fine, so long as I get that one to go up onto that track over there. So I'll get rid of that cross over there, and then I just need the last one over there who is True God Howard, I need you to come up onto here. So what I'll do in order to make you do that is I'm going to demolish that chunk of track right there and then let you go. Right. Let's just go with play speed for a minute. Warning. Could not connect all stations. Right. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you've stopped here. If I go there a minute, terminals, line 14. Because I've got the two terminals on here. Surely that is going to work, though. He's running down that way. Or have I got to assign two lines to make that work properly? I'm wondering if I've got to assign two lines to make that actually work correctly. It might be. Uh, then I want to go onto here and I want to take that one tracks like that and I want to connect that bit up like that and then I want to remove that bit of track and then configure. Right, now I got platforms in here, so I can take a platform and I can add a bit of platform. But what I'm wondering is if I was to remove 
the platform and have the track down the sides, maybe that would work. Let's, let's see what let's see just how well we can configure our options on here. That's a double platform there. Right, I take that platform here. That is, that's, that's dumping out like a, a double-sided platform. You haven't got any choice. You've got to have a double-sided platform on there. So I've got four platforms here, not two platforms. I have no option on that. So then if I go to tracks on here, that one, I can't configure that one back out again because of that bit. Yeah, I've got, I've got to... I gotta remove that bit there in order to make this work. You you gotta come out. So I'm not able to do quite what I wanted. Go back to configuration options and we will configure that part of the platform right there. That's all I need to do for that. Then I can go back over here and I can just put that track back in there. Right, that's that bit. That's good. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Nope, I want to... Now, terminals. This is the bit that I want to do. So, select terminal for this stop. Terminal 3. Terminal 1, 2, 3 or 4. I can't have both of them. I'd have to have an additional line on here in order to make this work. It's not going to allow me to do any other option. Which is why that one is saying, no, no, it's not working. And that's why I will have trains not running properly on these other lines over here. So he's getting over this side. He's fully loaded up. And then you over this other side, you're, you sh the other one, he should be fully loaded up as well. Glenn Fiddick. Glenn Fiddick is fully loaded up. So now, of course, I've got to see if this works. I've got one that's come in there. Glenn Fiddick is unloaded at 1.9 million barrels. And then I've got the next one who will come back. So Glenn Fiddick is off. We will let him run for a minute. I've got another train should be on its way up. There's the next train on its way up. And that one's going to work. And the oil refinery in here has got various materials out there. They're going to go out onto Eau Claire. I'll need them to run out onto there. So you're going to run in here. And you've unloaded as well. So you're fine. You don't matter. Vehicles reported a problem. Michael Burke. Line reports problem. No path. Michael Burke has got no path. He can't get back to this one. Now, is he going to have to... Line has reported a problem. Here. I've had them for six months. Right, line 14. Right, he's come back up. He's coming to here. No, I don't want to configure anything yet. Terminals. Line 14 is on number 2 in there. I'm going to switch that one over now. I'm going to go here and I'm going to put you onto Terminal 1 out on the outside. So Michael Burke should have no issues at all. No path. Right, why have you got no path? I've connected these. The condition of Yelibam is very poor now. I need to replace Yelibam. Right over here. Details right there. Condition very bad is age 5. So if I... Yeah, I need, I need to manage Yelibam. We just want to go in here. Configure maintenance. Running cost. Normal maintenance. All right, let's, let's leave that. I'll go in here. Send to depot. Clone. Replace. Replace selected vehicle with one of those. Replace. Yeah, but you should automatically colour yourself as well. Right. Now, who are you? You're True God Howard. You've you've come on in and you've gathered up this new oil that we've got in here. Michael Burke is still having trouble. 
Let's go down and see Michael Burke a minute. So what's your problem, dude? What's wrong? What's it? What seems to be the issue? Oh, clear, no path. Well, you need to turn round for a start. <laughs> Michael Burke, you are a bit of a troublemaker. Let me go to you, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to ride the rails with Michael. Over here. Okay, what used that. to be the post office is now a gas station. Rendezvous and rest area for man and motor. See to it that there's always enough gasoline on hand. See to it that there is always enough gasoline on hand. Supply gas stations with a total number of units. So he's going to come in there. And he's going to turn around and he's off again. Hopefully both of all four of those trains will now be fine. They will keep going back to... Motorization Ooh. benefits every facet of society. Nonetheless, it's already caught the attention of some very vocal opposition. It's being claimed that cars and buses harm the environment. That's nonsense, of course. But despite that, it's worth taking a few measures to appease the critics. <laughs> OK. Apparently it's nonsense that these buses and cars are going to be harming the environment. They're not going to make any difference at all. It's good, clean oil. That's all we're using. Good, clean oil, ladies and gentlemen. And Michael... Okay, okay, we've, we've now got the train is doing fine. Uh, the opposition to motorization demands more green ought to compensate for the endless streams of traffic that allegedly plow through the cities. Well, if that's all they want. Plant trees in the Minneapolis and St. Paul area. There is our oil refinery busy working away. Doing a grand job as well. It's a noisy contraption, isn't it? Um, I need to set up a load of road routes so that we can get gas stations being supplied. But we also need to plant some trees. So we'll do the tree planting first. So that's a relatively simple thing to do, I should think. Assets in here. Sugar maple. European linden. Shingle oak. Red delicious apple. Scots pine. Common hazel. I don't know what trees are normally found in the U.S., uh, I'm thinking shingle oak is something that would be used. It seems like something that would be used. Uh, beautify the town. Wait, what? 447 out of 6. I've got to plant 100 trees. In the St. Paul area. Let's, uh, is this still the St. Paul area down here? Four four set. No, that's not the St. Paul area. Uh, let's go here. Uh, please tell me I don't have to click that many times. Ah, single, right. Brush size. There we go. Right, that's that's more like it. You you can uh, strength zero there, slope threshold. That's inactive, so I can I can really increase the brush size and I can put up a whole load of trees like this. There. Spread them across the town. Why not? Grow them right in town. At last, the disgruntled voices have been modified. Your measures have dispelled their concerns about motorization. And as a matter of fact, lately the air does feel fresher somehow. Okay. Well. Who would have thought such a thing was even possible? The air feels fresher now that we have um, improved the air quality. I know, I'm as shocked as everybody else. So I've got this one down here. I think it's going to be too far away. Even if I put a road in across there, I still think that's going to be too far away. Uh, streets, buildings. I've got one-way streets. Wow, what streets have I got available here? Huh? Bus buildings in there, yeah. Streets. I want country road. Uh, this is country roads. Oh, wow. Ah, right. We've got 80k country roads now. I can upgrade this to a nice speedy country road like that. But no, what I wanted to do was I didn't want to do an upgrade. I wanted to bring you out over here like this. There. Because, see, 
Right, no, that doesn't actually give this, make this one available. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a... Having that road there is not a bad thing. I'm going to take one of you, and I'm going to take the building there. We're going to go with our modular truck station, and this is going to be a big one. This one here is going to be a big one. So what we will do is, if I bring that round, I want to put that onto that junction right there. That's where it's going to go. And that is going to be supplying a lot of different areas. So you're going to go there like that. And then I'm going to have to start building some new stations. So we're going to want a vehicle station over here. I'm not using that maintenance depot, but I don't need to. I've got another one to use. I've got 30 trucks available for this next trick. This only needs to be small truck stations. So I'm going to go to you, and then we will go one each. Although I will keep them slightly longer than we would sometimes otherwise use. You can go like that. And I'll drop you into there. So I've got one there. I've got one over by Lacrosse over here, which is going to go out that side. And that's going to drop in that part of town. Like that. Then I've got one over by the Rochester fuel station, which is going to go... Uh, over there. You know what I'm thinking? I could put that... That one can go right in there. It can tuck in there, just in case I want to use it for something else. It's unlikely, but just in case. Then I've got a fuel station up over this side. This one, we will go on the outskirts of town again. If we want to deliver into town, then we will do so later on. So you can go there. And then I've got this... Wait, is that the gas station? That is the Minneapolis gas station there. I'm gonna. This one's gonna be a bit different, isn't it? Like if I try and deliver that right in the middle of town, that is going to make life a little bit more difficult for us. I can deliver it all the way out over there, and that will still supply the gas station. Well, what I'm actually thinking is it would be better if I was to put it over here, so then that. I can make that a lot bigger, should I so desire. I've got a big one over there already. So really, I could just put it there and then have a secondary route going in and supplying, but I don't want to do that. And then you over here, I've got another gas station over here. Tell you what. Let's do that. Get rid of you. Confirm that destruction. You're gone. You're out of here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that route there, and then I'm going to have small drop-off points for this one. So it's going to be one of those, which is going to be a small drop-off point there. That's it. It's just going to be a shuttle backwards and forwards. I'm not going to do anything special with it. But it's going to go here on this side. Same as the other one. Well, the other one's on the opposite side of the road, but that's okay. Uh, that's all of them. I got one by that one. I got one there. I got one there. I got one up there. And then Minneapolis, we're going to go to our main truck station in there. I'm going to have two small routes set up to go around the outside. So first up, let's set the actual lines. So we want new line from here. It's going to go from lower lacrosse all the way up to Eau Claire Annex. Then I'm going to go for a new line. It's going to go from... Lower lacrosse down there, and that one's going to go all the way up there to that one, the cross branch. Another new line is going to go lacrosse all the way to this new one over here. Lower Rochester. Another new line is going to go from lacrosse east over to St. Cloud Holt all the way up there. That goes up there and then round that ring road and then on up through. And then finally, we got a new line that is going to run from Lower Lacrosse all the way up to the main Minneapolis one in here. Now, that's the big one, the St. Paul Sidings. Actually, that's not finally. New line is going to go from St. Paul Sidings over to that drop-off on Queensway. That's it. Just that one. And then another new line is going to go from here... And that one's going to go over to here. Over to the Grove. Right. I've gone through a lot of colours on all of these. These ones in town, I'm thinking two trucks on each line. So let's get those set first. 
before I do any others, because otherwise I'm just going to get confused with things. So our very first thing that we want to do is we want to go to St. Paul Depot over here. We're still on the Mac AC Depot. I can carry fuel on here. That is fine. So I want to buy one, two, three, and four of those in there. And we want to start naming these. So we've got Michael B, Tech Lime, Tyree, and Windwalker. So I'm going to put two of these onto line 21. I don't have any more colours available. Although it looks like what they've done is they've come up to there and then they've started going back through new colours again. So you are going to be those two and you're going to go on to all the way down here to line 21. And then these two, Tyree and Windwalker, they're going to be purple. That purple down there. And they're going to go on to line 20. So to go you and line 20 down there. And then we're going to need to do the next one. So I've got to decide how many trucks to do on each line. I think one from here up to here is going to be four trucks and that one from there over to there is also going to be four trucks. So we'll do both of those first, the Eau Claire and the Lacrosse ones. Four trucks on each. I'm sticking with the same road depot. It's just easier. So our first four are going to be Charles, Dante, Deuce MS, and Ivelios. They are going to be coloured that light purple there, and they're going to be assigned onto line 15. I'm hoping I've got the right line. Uh, line 15, yes, that's the right line up to there. And then the next one is Lacrosse Branch. That one's going to come up there. That's line 16. Which is Jamie, Patrick, Tonza, and Zorta Triple Seven. So they are Ooh, that colour. It's that one there. And then they can be assigned onto line 16 over to here. The next line that we want is the Rochester line, which is line 17, which is that greenish brown one over there. Olive, I think that is. That's Olive right there. So we're going to assign them onto Olive. To buy some more vehicles. That, I'm going to do six vehicles on there. Divanj Mahajan, Gooseman X, Jamie O'Connell, Jordan Misspelt, and Nigel Pipe. You are all going to be that... I think that's olive, isn't it? So what's that colour? Dark olive. Right, you're all going to be dark olive. And you are going to go onto line 17. So then we've got line 18 is next. Uh, that's the one that go... Wait, where's line 18? I got line... Uh, line 18 goes all the way up St. Cloud Holt. And then finally I've got line 19 which runs into the St. Paul sidings. Now we're already delivering fuel. So we're, we're underway now with this. I'm thinking St. Cloud up there. That one's going to have eight... And this one over here is also going to have 8. That will be 16. Okay, I could do 10 going to St. Cloud. This is a long way to go. And then 10 going up to here. Because this is going to have two runs coming out of there anyway. So I'll do 10 on each. Well, our first 10. So I'm going to do 10 to each side. We've got Alex, Black Wolf, Bremple, Connor, Deva2018, Dude Guy Man 131 Edward Jasper... I'm all ears are you, Jordan and McStallion YT. They are going to be the olive colour there, the lighter olive colour. And they're going to be assigned, line 18, off you go. Then we've got Rightus Sepulis, Scott M, Silver Fennekin. Hang on, let's try that again, shall we? On the road, Petro Gracemark, Randall White, Rightus Sepulis, Scott M, Silver Fennekin, Silver Wolf 187, Tally Rand, The Good Gamer, and Tiny Big Man. You are all going to be... Uh, wait, it's that blue there, isn't it? Line 19 you're being assigned to. And there you go. Right, they are all off onto line 19. So we'll go over and just take a look at them all breaking out here. Look at that. There we go. Everybody's rushing out. Off we go. Traffic is quite busy out here. Oh, they're on traffic lights. That's why. Right. Well, that's good. They're on traffic lights. That's working. So in here, St. Paul sidings, I got 123 of those. Yes, it's not quite taking them all away. 
Uh, the factory is going to produce these eternally. That, that doesn't make any difference. So what I've got to wait for now is the rest of the fuel to be delivered. I've already got the fuel being delivered elsewhere. So the St. Cloud and the stuff that's going actually into Minneapolis is not really going to make a difference. The tanks are always well supplied, thanks to you. The population of Minneapolis is well supplied too, with local transportation too well. While your long-distance bus business flourishes and thrives, in the local transportation sector, you have to prevail against public mass transit operators. That's annoying. Make sure that this unwelcome competition runs out of steam. Too many passengers are still using the municipal streetcar facilities. You need to provide the more attractive offer at lower prices so that things don't stay that way. Offer a better service than the town's tram lines with your buses. Right, so we, we now have to compete against the trams. Uh, truck training continues unabated. Competing with the tram, 13, 15%. The Minnesota Milling Ooh. Company wants to communicate to customers that its product is extra high quality. Help it with this endeavor. Uh, housewife Betty. The flower factory wants its clientele to believe that every grain of wheat is sorted by hand before processing. Have samples from various production facilities delivered to give the impression that only the best grain is used. Deliver grain from two different farms to the food processing plant. Right, well I've got six trucks available so I can do three trucks from each farm. I've got the Minneapolis farm there, that is the Rochester food processing plant. I've got Rochester Farm over there. Those are the only farms. So we need to set up lines over to here, which means that one's out of the way. You will run through the town and you will go over to here. And then that one... That one's got further to go. That one would have to run all the way down here and all the way around unless I build an additional road and bridge across here. Oh! No, they won't. They'll go across here. They'll go through town. They'll come down this way. So I will put the siding over here. So I want to go there with a the truck station. I want to bring that one around a little bit like that. Uh, drop you in there like that. Okay, I don't need to do any more than that. Oh, actually I do. We, we've got to go and build the other ones, haven't we? So I want one beside the farm over on this side. That's a nice easy one to deal with. There. All right. No more problems there. You, on the other hand, have got a long way to drive. Sure that I like this. I think we will help this along a little bit by upgrading our medium country road. There we go. Take me home country road. Not that it's going to make any difference because the vehicles that we buy are not all that fast. Not yet. They're, they're not able to take full advantage of these speeds. Dev 2018, what is your top speed that you have? 50k. So, so long as the road is not limited to less than 50k, we can take full advantage of what the vehicle... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers, and lorry drivers, and bus drivers, and boat drivers, and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea... If you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.